Welcome to Blue Collar Ballistics. My name is Josh. Today I got something a little special for you guys. I've got a backpack here. Throw it over your shoulder like this. This is a one arm backpack. I had a buddy the other day I was talking to. He said when he has one arm one, he usually throws it over his head like this. So, anyway, what do you think is in this thing here today? Think I got uh, books in here? How about a handgun? about to find out. So today, I'm going to see something kind of new. Look at this baby. I took some time to put this together. I'm going to tell you about it here in just a minute. I'm going to tell you some things I like about it, some things I dislike about it. But in this backpack, I've got a 223 5.56 AR. So for my shoulder, I like to run about right here because I, I like my nose touching the, the charging handle when I'm shooting. Kind of keeps, kind of keeps my my head in the same spot when I'm looking down the sights. Um, I like the uh, pistol brace on here. The reason I like the pistol brace is when I've got this barrel detached, it fit when this is folded back, it fits right in there and helps fold it in there. So it's not for it being a pistol. I have this, I have this uh, 5.56, I have it SBR, I've got a short barrel rifle tax stamp for it. And uh, I like it, it's pretty amazing. There's a couple things I'd like to do a little bit different and I'll show you that here in just a minute. But, how many of you would have ever guessed that this is what was in that backpack? Probably not very many. Anyway, so, I got a pistol brace on here. You can get that about anywhere. I've got a uh, fire field uh, sight on here. Uh, I don't know much about fire field. We're going to test it out here on another video. And then I've got a Pantheon Arms... Um, detachable barrel attachment. You pull this thing down and you twist it. You see how it's loose there? You have to slide the charging handle back and lock it. And then this pulls right off. So, I, this is an amazing, amazing system, amazing setup. I haven't had any problems with it. The thing that makes me nervous and bothers me is this gas tube sticking way out. I'm afraid I'm gonna bend it. With it in here, it moves quite a bit. I could slide it clear forward and I don't want to bend it. I don't want to mess up my my uh, gas block. Um, there is a uh, muzzle device. It's called a cookie cutter. And I can't think of the uh, the maker off the top of my head. But if you take this off, you put it on there, it's kind of flat. A little bit of a rounded, a little bit like a cone shape on there. Anyway, it would catch it in here so this doesn't slide back in there. However, the cookie cutter is super loud and uh, it doesn't do a whole lot. This here, muzzle device right here, what it does, it's not a suppressor or anything like that. It's just a round piece. It's got a big round area inside here. I can stick my finger in there. Um, what it does, it projects the sound. It projects the sound and the flame forward so that it's not coming out the sides or around you. I have a Magpul flip-up sight on there, on the front there. And this here, the Pantheon Arms detachable barrel attachment is basically this piece and this piece right here. And then you have to have the the handguard that matches it. I'm put it back together for you. Thanks again for watching. If you guys enjoyed our video, hit the like and subscribe buttons. As always, stay safe. And if there's anything that you liked on here or want to see differently, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. Thank you for watching. We enjoy putting these videos out and making these videos. Look forward to many more to come.